Okay, given this system of equations, in order for an ordered pair x, y, z to be a solution to the system of equations, it needs to satisfy all three of these equations. So for example, if I were to plug in x, y, and z into the first equation, the answer must be three in order for that ordered pair to be true. So an example, given the ordered pair five sevenths, eight sevenths, and one, First, we're gonna test out the first equation to see if it works there. If it doesn't work in the first equation, then we automatically know that it is not a solution. So I'm gonna plug in all my ordered pairs, all my x, y, z minus two times one. Simplifying this, this is just five sevenths. Two multiplying by two is the same as multiplying by two over one, multiply the top and bottom, 16 over seven, minus two to get this as a fraction, multiply by seven over seven, and this will end up being 5 plus 16, 21 minus 14, 7 over 7 is 1, which is not going to be 3. So therefore, since it does not satisfy even the first equation, I know that this ordered pair is not a solution to the system of equations. Okay. Moving along, let's try another order pair, five, seven, zero. Again, we're gonna try it for each equation. So let's plug it into the first equation, five sevenths plus two times eight sevenths minus two times zero, which is just zero. So this will end up being five plus 16 over sevenths, which will be 21 over seven. And that is equal to three. So therefore it works for the first equation. Trying the second equation, three times five over seven, which is 15 over seven, minus eight over seven, plus zero, which is just zero, so 15 minus eight, seven over seven is equal to one. Okay, that works for the second equation, but we need to make sure it works for the third. Negative five over seven plus five times eight over seven. This will be plus 40 over seven, minus five times zero, which is zero. This is positive 35 over seven, which is five. Works for the last equation, so therefore this ordered pair is a solution since it, work, it works for all three equations. Moving along, five, eight, one. Again, I just need to plug it into one. So I'm just gonna plug it into the first one to start. Five plus two times eight minus two times one. This will end up being five plus 16 minus two, which is going to be um, 19, which is not equal to three. So since it doesn't work for the first equation, it's not gonna work for any, so this is not a solution. Okay. Next one, five sevenths, 10 sevenths, two sevenths. Again, try for the first equation. Has to work for all three though to work. Five sevenths plus two times 10 over seven minus two times two over seven. This will be five plus two times 10 is 20, 25 minus two times two is four, 21 over seven, which is going to be three. So it will work for this equation here. one over seven, so it works for the first equation. But again, let's try the second equation. Okay, so three times five over seven minus 10 over seven, so 15 over seven minus 10 over seven is five, plus two over seven is seven over seven. Remember when I'm adding and subtracting, I need the same denominator, but I have the same denom denominator. Works with one, okay. Next equation, negative five over seven, plus five times 10 over seven, 50. So negative five plus 50 is 45, minus five times two over seven, 45 minus 10, 35 over seven, which is five. So it works for the third equation, therefore it would be a solution for the entire system of equations. All right, let's try one more ordered pair X, Y, and Z to make sure we have this down. Again, first equation, five sevenths, plus two times 22 over seven. That's gonna be five plus 42, which is 49, minus two times two. Okay, so subtracting four, 
but to write this as a fraction, this will be the same as subtracting um, four times seven is 28 over seven. And this will end up being 21 over seven, which is three, okay, works for the first equation. Next one, three times five over seven, 15 over seven minus 22 over seven plus two, which is the same as 14 over seven, 15 minus 22 plus 14. This will end up being seven over seven, which is one. Okay, works for the first and second equation. Now we're gonna test it for the third. Negative five over seven plus five times 22 over seven minus five times two, which is 10. Same thing as 70 over seven. So negative five plus five times 22 minus 70, same as 35 over seven, which is five, works for all three. Therefore, it'll be a solution to the system of ordered pairs.